So what's up guys? Got Dave here. And I just wanted to save you a little bit of money. Just let you know that if you have one of these Groms and you get a good set of tires, like I'm always recommending that you do, get rid of those stock tires and get yourself a good set of tires. I figured I'd let you know that when you get them put on, you do not need to have the wheels balanced. And for me, that cost me, it saved me like $20, basically cut the job in half price-wise because the place that I normally take my wheels to, they'll charge me 20 bucks a wheel. And that's for mountain balance. And this last time I went there, I told the guy, I'm like, yeah, just throw them on the rims. Don't even, you don't even need to balance them. And the guy's like, oh, well, damn, you know, just give me 10 bucks and 10 bucks then. So it cost me $20 instead of $40. So I just figured I would let you guys know that, uh, and that's what I do, and I haven't noticed a difference, and I honestly believe, and this is my opinion, my uh, experience that I've had, is that up to about 50 mile an hour, you really don't feel it. You know, like the KTMs, it's like I could go 100 on either of those bikes, and I go on the freeway on either of those bikes. So I definitely have the wheels balanced when I get new tires. But for this bike, Usually I'm going about 40. Occasionally I'm going like 50, you know, like sometimes it'll get up like 52, 53. But for me to get tires balanced, in my opinion, is really a ripoff for this bike. It's really just money that you do not need to spend. Figured I'd let you know. If, uh, if you disagree with that, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear your opinion on the matter. If you've I don't know, had a different experience than that. So let me know what you think and I will talk to you soon. You guys have a great day.